second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, ooh. And I know your taste is a little bit, ooh, high maintenance, ooh. Everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday Hey, what's up my crowns and tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly. Let's talk. So today we're going to be talking about Krishan. Yeah, she stepped up in the building. She is coming out slowly but shortly. We got JT, Chris Brown, and Ice Spice and that whole lotto situation, okay? So we are going to be talking about some things. And if you cannot, listen, I repeat, if you cannot take opinions and you're sensitive this is not the channel for you okay so let's get straight into the t and my opinions we're gonna start with jt okay so y'all know she just came out with sideways okay i like that song actually um but something resurfaced of hers from not too long ago okay regarding Nicki minaj so we are gonna get straight into some of this stuff y'all know Nicki minaj and jt is actually cool now but it wasn't always like that okay y'all remember we're going to talk about it in a minute. But, you know, JT is um, considered Nicki Minaj lapdog um, to some people on the internet, etc., etc. Y'all know what I'm talking about. This is one of the recent things that JT put out to Nicki Minaj. I salute Nicki Minaj for not tapping out and still dropping music, knowing it's so many odds against her. It's big money to end Nicki, but it's a bigger God. Keep being you. Your legacy will never be undone. She added Nicki Minaj, I love you. Nicki Minaj. I ain't gonna even hang with that. I'm gonna be hanging with Cardi B. That's why I wanna hang with a real bitch like Cardi B. But y'all in the car when you was in the car. How did that song go? Right. That song right now. My song is saying, wait, what is it Nikki can't rip no bitch. She ain't even from the street. So I was in my Jeep, my booty, and my racing. No, finish it. Keep it going. Wait, I don't remember. I don't know. I scared. Nikki ain't even the street. She ain't wait. Nikki ain't in a. Nikki can't rip no. She ain't even from the streets. I'ma drop you like a bag of groceries. Tell <laughs> so the groceries we had being drop it at the door. Mm hmm. Nikki made JT rap the diss song she wrote about her, and y'all don't think that's weird? Laughing my butt off, literally clowning that girl and trying to play it off. Mm hmm. Yeah, Nikki told JT to recite her diss, and she did it like a clown. Made her a lap dog for the whole world to laugh at. Mm hmm. Out of all this beef with Nikki, the funniest thing was making JT recite the diss song. The girls is delusional. Cause, girl, if you heard it, why I gotta recite it? Definitely let Nikki itch her. All right. Um, Nicki Minaj has been rubbing me the wrong way lately. If her and JT is cool, why is she bringing up a old disc freestyle and making her rap it on live? Nicki is not genuine. I don't care you bars, but do not come to my page. When Nicki Minaj asked JT to rap her Nicki diss and she did it, I screamed along with the rest of us. Um, mind you, JT didn't like Nicki ass and made a whole diss song about her. Now they best of friends. Barb's love screaming people can change when it comes to JT, but not Cardi, Lotto, or Meg. Boy, just because y'all was once a fan don't mean shit can't change. And I agree, okay? Um, JT got a pass. Now she's around Nicki Minaj. Now they the best of friends. But she did two diss songs that we know of and popped a whole bunch of stuff before, okay? But all the other ones, they showed her homage. They, you know, actually, you know, show love to Nicki Minaj. And now they don't get along, okay? Because clearly they seen her, you know her ways and they don't mess with it so they you know backed off as anybody would um i felt like anybody that's around somebody that they don't like or you know being fake and stuff like that i just felt like y'all just wasting your time and energy and those are the ones that be mad at the ones that actually don't want to mess with that type of person you understand what i'm saying y'all really thought jt ate up that diss reciting it to nikki after nikki told her recite it y'all don't think that that was weird Y'all don't think that that was a funny moment to be like, girl, you really going to sit there and recite that? Like, Nikki heard the song. <laughs> she wanted to make a fool out of you on her live, knowing all those people was going to be watching. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, JT is going to do what she's going to do. So at the end of the day, she is grown, okay? These, this is her life. If she decided that she want to be around Nikki and deal with the bull crap, then that's going to be on her, okay? Um, I just felt like it never would have been me. I'm not reciting. And you heard what I said. That's just what it is. Like, what is the point of the live? You want to see what I'm saying? To make a clownery of me? Uh-uh. 
let's get in with this girl, Krishan Rock. Okay, y'all know she's in hiding allegedly because, you know, Jane's about to sue her. She press charging and all type of stuff. She's supposed to be wanted and everything else. You know how she is with the legal stuff. Um, but anyways, so we're going to get into some of her tweets that she put out regarding James and supposedly Jaden and Alexis. Like, girl, I just felt like, girl, and then she talking about she has big projects coming up and everything like that. That's the reason why she was going. Let's get straight into these tweets. Um, watch this. All his stuff is on the way to me. I don't give a F about none of that fake flex stuff. I would have posted before having it give it up too. If, uh, before having to give it up too. Okay, so everybody's insinuating because Jaden right here is wearing blue face rings. And they're like, okay, so she's talking about her. Talking about some that stuff is going to get sent to her and all this other stuff. So let me know how y'all feel about that. Because to me, in my opinion, Jaden and Alexis has been minding her business. Yeah, she visited Blueface and she showed that her child saw her, you know, saw his dad. And I just felt like a lot of people was going to start trying to bring this whole situation up again. Watch. Jaden reposts, say it with me. By the end of the year, I'm going to have everything I manifested and prayed for. She also reposted, if y'all girls um, could, y'all would, but y'all can't. And that's why y'all talk about the girls that's doing it. Oop. And then she said, free my baby daddy. Krishan says, this big back guy think he finna get a set out of me? It's you know you just wasted your money on that damn lawyer, right? Somebody says, I can't wait to see your downfall for real. You do it to yourself. And I know God is going to work his magic and make sure you humbled exactly because that's one thing she's not she's not humble somebody says just like you didn't assault him and swore there wouldn't be charges laugh out loud nobody believes the lies and narratives you say anymore god woke the people up and revealed the devil in you <laughs> baby you gotta pay him and you steady incriminating yourself that's what a lot of people do on this internet um shit i hope it's a price she can afford she don't have nothing no car no house her music trash her bookings went down so if she can't pay him then she'll just go to jail then she says yeah i took a break from the show shoes because i'm putting my energy into my next projects for real and all that negative stuff be not even my bob right now my next move gonna be my best move a hundred okay Girl, shut the F up. You a whole snake in the worst kind. You broke the engagement up and pretended to be cool with Jay just to go back and slither your way back into the house. Karma got something for that ass. And prior to that itch, you knew he was with his baby mama from the beginning. I don't feel bad for you at all. I mean, a lot of people don't. Um, You are the one bringing the negativity to your timeline. Okay, say that again. Um, you need another break after dropping that. Your projects, because I knew it's not really going to slap. Exactly. <laughs> um, take accountability for your wrongdoings, for what you did, and pay that man, period. Okay, so people are not with it, all right? Somebody says, yes, your next move is jail. You're a fugitive. Anybody that touch you may be harboring <laughs> a fugitive. It's their duty to call 911. Y'all. When I tell y'all people is not playing with her, people are not playing with her. I feel like she hiding. A lot of people feel like she's hiding from the law and, you know, what's coming to her. But she claims that it's a vacation that um she's on and she's working on projects equaling I'm in trouble and I'm trying to make things positive or sound positive. Why is Krishan still trying to prove who she is in Blueface life? This is getting very annoying how much she has to prove and explain certain situations. Like girl, this James thing didn't just happen. Like why would she randomly come on Twitter? Cause she wants attention. She's like, hold on, it's a little quiet on my end real quick. Let me just tweet a couple things so I can start getting talked about. But you still look dumb. Like, why would you want to keep getting talked down on? Nobody is uplifting you right now because you're not even uplifting yourself. You keep putting yourself in these situations and then you want to cry and bitch about it later on. Like, you got to get it together. You're a mother now. And I'm going to keep saying that. You're a mother now. Leave Blueface alone, clearly, because you're in a public figure and you're making yourself look really crazy and obsessed at this point. You have a whole son there and it seems like you're putting Blueface before him. And I said what I said. But anyways, let's get into the next one. Chris Brown, y'all already know that whole situation with the um NBA All Star and Ruffles, right? That's in my 
other video. Make sure y'all go check that out. But listen, Ruffles came out. They made a statement. And Chris Brown is like, listen, y'all not going to play with me. Y'all not playing on my top. Stop capping. And this is exactly what it is. And I already explained how I feel about the whole Chris Brown situation now. And how they're dragging it. But they're not doing it for other people that have all type of backgrounds and all type of mistakes that they did. It's kind of weird to me in, in a way. Okay, so Ruffles says, um, Ruffles sponsored last night's NBA All-Star Celebrity Game. However, we did not have any involvement in nor visibility to any player decisions or celebrity invite discussions. Chris Brown says, Ruffles, capping. I guess y'all trying to save face now. Staying on business. Don't try to make it look like I'm tripping. You and the NBA representatives know exactly what y'all are doing. Okay, and let me tell y'all this. I believe Chris Brown. I believe it. Now he says, I have no reason to lie. Y'all know I didn't chase clout. The only reason they responded is because all of them um, Team Breezy fans flooding their stuff. Cowards. Y'all know damn well I ain't lying because I never be on this type of time. These itches. And then he added ruffles. Trying to save face. Okay, let me know how y'all feel about that. Y'all believe him? He also says, turn them comments off, I see. And they sure did. Okay, so like he stated ruffles is trying to save face okay basically that's what it is a lot of these people don't want to make it seem as if they really canceled him but they still be needing him and putting him in situations be like y'all feel some type of way about me but y'all still got me around but y'all still limiting the things that he can receive or do etc like that's weird to me let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments below okay do y'all think that is a little drag norm when it comes to chris brown or do you think that he's getting what he deserves Lotto and Ice Spice, okay? Ever since that little stuff was, you know, exposed about the little subs that they've been doing to each other, it's been just like a lot of catty, petty, childish stuff going on on the internet that I feel is so petty that this could be squashed like like right now. Snap of a finger, squash. Because it's not even really that serious. Like, what is anybody trying to prove? Just make music, make money, and just shut up. Spice doing what in Atlanta? Nah, this Lottoville, baby. You you think you the shit? You not even a fart. Ice Spice got two of these things down here riding through Atlanta. What is going on? Now the neighborhood talk had put out what Lotto said. Okay, um, didn't hit though. Their caption says Lotto with a message amid fans thinking Ice Spice was shading her. Lotto's in the comment section saying this was about the old pig going rival, not that little girl. Thanks, not little girl. <laughs> Ice Spice is twenty four and Lotto is twenty five. They are very close in age. Also, that little girl richer than you. She always throwing rocks to hide in her hands. Can't never stand on nothing she say. Scary. Beef or not, that's fire. You went to her hood, but she got billboard trucks in yours. Now, that little girl got more top 10 on the billboards than you, and you've been in the industry for years. But okay, Mulatto, she's jealous of Ice. That's why she said little girl. Because she can't stand the fact Ice gets the love, attention that she wants. Is given bothered. Hmm. This person says, just like Sunday service didn't hit Billboard. Meanwhile, thank you to Stuff debuted it at, on the Billboard, okay? Now, my thing is this. Y'all have a different listening ear when it comes to music, okay? Me, personally, I don't agree with Ice Spice Fart Song is way better than Sunday service. That's just not my cup of tea. I mean, yeah, it's a catchy song, but when it comes to actual listening real music to me, I feel like Lotto got the bars, Lotto got the flow, she just, I don't know why she don't get the acknowledgement that she, you know, deserves. But Lotto is way better than Ice Spice on any day. I'm sorry. Okay. Now this generation is all about TikTok making songs. Like, that's what it's about. But people in my era that have a good ear knows real music when they hear it and that's just me and my opinion but anyway let me know how y'all feel about everything that was being said okay about the whole ice spice and lotto thing and the shading do you think that lotto is really scary or do you think that she's just like you know like just being true to herself on her side and people thinking that she capping 
which one do y'all think it is me personally like i said it's a petty childish beef this is like nothing i feel like it's pointless um i feel like they should just focus on their music and just put it in their songs because the online going back and forth shady subby all that stuff like put that in y'all songs if y'all really want to make it about something but anyway Krishan, she need to sit down relax go be a mom She's working on these projects, so we're going to see what she comes up with when she comes out with it, and I'm going to let y'all know how I felt about the projects, okay? Um, and everything else, like, you know, Blueface has some time in there when he come out, the real test and the real question is going to be where he going to go and whose side he going to be on, unless he going to be dipping and dodging in Krishan, Jaden, Bonnie, whoever else that he messing with, I don't know. But let me know how y'all think that's going to turn out when Blueface come out. Um, the JT in the old video, like I stated before, that was going on, going rival on Twitter. And I actually never seen that clip before. I only seen the clip where she was doing the diss rap to Nicki Minaj. So I just seen that. I was like, wow, like this is another thing. So I had to talk about it. But yeah, but it doesn't even mean anything because Nicki doesn't care. She already, you know, made an example of JT straight on law for everybody to see of how much of control she can have over somebody just because she's Nicki Minaj. Because ain't no way in hell you going to tell me as a grown ass woman to recite something that was so long ago that I barely, you know, barely even remember just for you to do what? Like, what is the point of this? Mm -mm. Sorry, not, uh -uh, not me. But anyway, I love y'all. Make sure y'all stay tuned for next videos and send me anything y'all want on Instagram, Etoxic Tea Lounge. And y'all already know I got y'all. But anyway, I love y'all. See y'all in the next video. Toodaloo.